Saskatoon. Rationale, thanks for taking the time. Thanks for having me, guys. So uh, your, 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 your song, Swinging a Bell, I know you uh, have been in contact with Dirk and, and Tim McCall from the Tim and Sid show, but uh, what inspired you to, uh, to write the song? Uh, I've just been a lifelong Blue Jays fan, really. Uh, you know, just like so many, so many of us across Canada, Tom was the, was the voice of my youth, the voice of summer. And, um, I remember playing, uh, Saskatoon Little League Baseball with my, with my $14 cleats and my tight stirrups. And, <laughs> and, uh, I just, uh, you know, I've been a, been a huge fan of Tom. And, you know, when I found out he was going into the Hall of Fame, I just, uh, I thought what better way to pay tribute to the, the greatest Blue Jay of all time than to write this song. So what is what is the musicality of the call? Like putting it to music, what does that mean to you? What is that? Is it a transcending way to honor it across generations? Is that why you really wanted to put it in tune, or is that just your art form and that's what you went with? I think um, I think the call, as you guys were talking about earlier, I mean Joe, the, the Joe Carter call, even the call uh, in '92 when the Jays finally won. It's like it's like music to the ears. It's like poetry in motion, and I think it was just a perfect fit uh, for the song. And it was a uh, and I knew going in, I knew I wanted to use those clips because uh, you know those are just synonymous, legendary calls of Blue Jays history. So I think it was just the the, the perfect icing on the cake to uh, to get Tom uh, Tom's calls in there and Tom on the chorus, and and it kind of really does feel like uh, you know Tom and I uh, did this track together. When you uh, when you look at tomorrow and the ceremonies beginning at 4:30, uh, how much will you be keeping an eye on on that? And and uh, what's it going to be like for you? Uh, you know, there's got to be some emotion there for you, I guess. Oh yeah, it's um it's going to be crazy. I was uh I was telling uh, a couple people yesterday. I, I got a message from uh, Mrs. Cheek, and she just paid me the greatest uh, compliment I ever could have got. She said that um. She said, uh, and it really struck, it really hit home with me. She said, um, I, I just sent this song to my kids, and she said, uh, Dad, is, uh, Dad is now on a rap and hip-hop soundtrack. How cool is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I just, it was, it was crazy for me to hear that because I've spent four months, you know, 200-plus hours, you know, writing this song. It was a really long process, worth every moment of it, but I've, I've never heard Tom, to refer, Tom refer to his dad. So, you know, it just shows uh, shows everyone that he was so much more than just, a, you know, the voice of the Blue Jays. He was a husband and a father, too. Hey, Rationale, thanks for taking the time. Uh, we'll play a little clip on the way out uh, from the song yeah. Swinging a Belt, written by Rationale uh, Station yeah. in Saskatoon. Pretty awesome. Thanks for being with us. Thanks so much for having me, guys. And there awesome. he is. It, it, Shirley Cheek is the nicest lady you will ever meet in your entire life. Just a, just a, just a... Princess of a woman, if you will. Fantastic stuff. Uh, guys, we got a little clip of uh, Swinging a Belt. Evo on patrol, looking like Willie Mays, Bob Davis, and Blewett. We knew it's a triple play. Who's mine? Jerry Curl, Kruber the mullet. Bring the Terminator in and soon we knew it was over. The flashback memory making me smile. Tom Cheek painting pictures through your radio dial. Looks like That is good stuff. It's an accurate recount of the events uh, of that day. Blue Jays fans obviously longing for those days to return. It really felt like yeah. this year would be a, a big part of that. But uh, You know what I like? 